What's going on everybody? It's Jeff Ali again. Look, today's another beautiful day. And I got my day off. I ain't gotta do nothing. And I was about to step out. I was like, man, ever since the last video I just did, I was like, man, I gotta do another video. And doing the last video of Tori made me wanna go ahead and do a introduction to my boy Rudy. And this boy, this is him right here. He's a big boy. I had Rudy since he was a little baby. This is produced, uh, he's a, uh, para, he's a, super, a possible super paraglow that is, uh, heck enter. So, now you can kind of understand, for those that know the genetics, you kind of understand why, like, any, any videos you see on my YouTube channel of a bone constrictor that is, uh, that is, a uh, paradigm or anything, any paradigm gene, I mean, a parahead, excuse me, pardon me, a parahead gene is coming from this boy right here. This was him. I took him. I, you know, my first litter I ever produced was a uh, was I took him and I bred him to a, a high tech female that I had named Lola. She passed away this year. That was very unfortunate. But this guy right here, it's just completely stunning. You know, so look at that. And one of the things that stood out about this guy when I had him when it's a baby was his eyesight. Man, the boy could just see everything. So that was really good. One thing that I've learned that I've like when I was when they was going into breeding, a lot of the uh, people that have done this for many years said that when you take a bow constrictor around, you know, the first two years and you breed the male, they tend to stay pretty small. But for some reason, this guy's growth did not stop. He's a very big boa, pretty strong and thick, and I don't even feed him heavy at all. And this boy just continued to grow. So it's really good to see a beauty like him get big. I ain't complaining because the bigger he is, the more you can see his his beauty, his, his his features. I want to kind of get a feature, um, a visual of his head, just so you can see how he looks. He's just super clean. And what a paraglow is is a paradigm. It's a sharp. He's a sharp albino bow constrictor, and he's also a bow and caramel bow constrictor. And because he's hypo. That makes him a paraglow. We're looking at the reduction of the black and how bright he is, he's a possible super. Yeah, but this is a big boy, so what I'm thinking is that, honestly, I kind of want to bring him, I have a, I have a, 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 a sharp sunglow head anery that I can go ahead and possibly plug him up with. Or I may want to just take him to a, a to one of the one of his uh, daughters, honestly, kind of like uh, I feel like you know, because I've heard things like that when people take dogs and they do it like that. So maybe I figured you could do this with them, and they'll make some really, really pretty high yellow, you know, highlight bowl prescriptions. Look how big he is! Yeah, y'all love these animals, man. They're big. I respect them. I don't. I may look like I have no fear at all carrying them. I don't. I really don't have no fear carrying these, these bow constrictors. But I do respect them. I wouldn't dare try to carry these guys when there's like, if I've been messing around with rats or anything like that. Because I don't want that scent on me. Because I don't ever want to confuse them. Plus, I never let them go around my neck. That's one thing. A bite is one thing. You know, I could take their bite. But to them grass around and, you know, put them in position where they can squeeze me and put me in a position where I can't recover and bounce back, that's a no-no. But I'm looking at, his, looking at his size, I really can't believe how big he is and how big, how long he has gotten. But looking at his size, man, he look like he's about 8 feet. Because I'm 6 feet. You know, so, he look like he's very, he already taller than me. So, uh, that's good, this is, this is, this is my big boy, it's Rudy. Look at him wrapping around. Gotta make sure he don't knock my fedora hat off. I do have, we have I do sell these too. I do, uh, I don't only sell bulky stickers, I also do um, sell clothing and many accessories. So that's what I do for full time. And when I have a day off like today, I come over here and show some attention to my animals. This is my hobby, so this is what I like to do. This is, you know, when I was a kid, I've always been into snakes and reptiles. I open up a book, 
has this really, really cool, uh, very, very real, uh, mythical book of dragons. I used to be fascinated with them. And when I was in New Jersey, that's where I was born and raised. And when I took, the, uh, when I went out there in the woods and actually searched for, um, animals myself, I actually found the snake. And when I found them, man, I was fascinated with them. So, you know, this is, uh, once I found one of them, and then when I finally purchased my first broken straight man, I fell in love with these animals. Because look, you know, snakes are so used to like, people are so used to when they see snakes or they think a snake, they're so used to them like moving fast, you know, very, very aggressive, fast. But when you look at these animals right here, these guys, the, um, the red tail bow constrictor, they're very calm. They're very, they're not, they're not like, they're not stupid, you know, they're not like, just moving recklessly. They know what they want to do. He knows what he want to do. And you know, they, they they do have a pretty decent eyesight, so that's really good to know that. So he can he can he, he he's familiar, he can see his surroundings. And just look how chill he is, you see what I'm saying? And that's why I like I really love them. They're more interactive, you know. Majority of people like ball python. To me, I'm not, I'm not a fan of ball pythons because they, they don't give you the same experience when you hold them. At least in my opinion, you know. I've held ball pythons before. But they don't give you the same experience. But anyway, you know, with this guy right here, man, I'm telling you. That's why when I produce these litters of the, uh, the daughters, that of his daughters, and I produce them, you can get an idea of what kind of genetics and colors that they have within them. And you know, it started off with this guy right here. I gotta give uh, Big Mike uh, hella credit because he definitely uh, produced some beautiful animals. And he caught my attention with his animals, so I had to invest into getting one. And I'm so glad I did because this is the results, you know. This is the results of the animal, of one of his animals that he produced. So now I'm gonna take this, take this gene and really, really just maximize it and, and just really see what kind of colors I can get. See if I can make this yellow. Just imagine like taking this yellow, this like highlight yellow and just make it real bright. It's kind of like give you that BPI look. Honestly, it really does. But you see like, for those of you guys that don't know how to hold a bow up or always want to, make sure you always give them support so they're not falling. And make sure that you never let them wrap around your neck. Maintain their face, maintain the distance. You know, most people when they hold the bow constrictor, they get a little nervous about um, holding. Uh, once they start to reach for their face, but not me. Uh, if I walk around the neighborhood like this, man, people would be going crazy. They look at me crazy because probably whoever watches this video probably looking at me crazy like, yo, that dude's crazy, man. He got that big behind snake on him. But uh, let me show you something real quick. Show you how crazy we really get. Big animal. Let's see if I can show you his teeth. See his teeth? Those are the teeth. They kind of look like little fish fit, um, some fins off the top of a fish. I hope I'm getting it on the camera. Let me get a little closer to the camera. Kind of look like the fish off the fins, you know. That's what, that's what it looks like. So when you feel when you touch on a fin of a uh, of them uh, of a fish, it's pretty sharp. They poke you, and that's the same thing with these guys. It's sharp. They're gonna penetrate your skin, guarantee, and it's gonna poke you. All right, guys, that's it, man. I, usually I don't normally do that. Hopefully I ain't get Rudy all riled up, but for those of you who love boas that love boas, say bye to Rudy. Say peace, Rudy. All right, it's Jeff Ali. I'm out. If you have any kind of questions, leave a comment on the bottom. If you uh, like, you know, the video, subscribe to the channel and show some love. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. Y'all have a wonderful day.